Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is McKenna if you're new here and welcome back to Vlogmas. I've completely lost track of what day this is but I think we're into the double digits now um, and for today's video I thought we could do a little haul like a collective haul and then a Q&A. I got a few questions on Instagram that I thought would be fun to answer. I asked you guys I just opened up my stories to everyone and I saved a few of the questions so I thought we could answer those um, but first I want to show you what I got at the mall today I know I'm I'm back in my car but I feel like this is the only quiet place to film things without like interruptions Leela's currently napping but Joey's home and his brother is here in town and so I just came out in the car to film this plus I just feel like it's kind of relatable and I just love sitting in my car like sometimes when I get home from places if Leela's asleep I'll just let her sleep in the back seat or sometimes if Joey's watching Leela I'll just sit in the car and like decompress. So I just feel like it's it's very fitting. I don't know. Anyways, let's address this too. My One of my press-on nails popped off and I lost the nail so I couldn't re-glue it on. And I don't want to open another packet, but... So one of my nails is just gone. These have been on for like about a week now, which these last so long. These are the Olive and June press-on nails. You guys, I talk about these all the time. You guys know that. They're so good. Okay, let's do a quick little haul of what I got today at the mall. So I went to several places, but I ended up getting stuff from Free People because I feel like Free People has the best maternity clothes. And so I went there in specific search of maternity clothes, and I picked up my favorite jumper this is the hot shot onesie and this is in i think heathered oat oatmeal heather um i was close but if you look at it up close it's really a pretty color i have it in light gray and dark gray and i love them a ton i just am kind of sick of the gray so i'm excited to get another neutral color and i got this in a size small and i felt like the smalls that i had before fit me my entire pregnancy totally fine especially with a growing belly so i know i'm gonna get a ton of wear out of this and i actually want to pick up a few more colors online they didn't have very many options in store but the hot shot onesie and the hot shot pants were like my go-to for maternity clothes and i highly recommend them if you're looking for some good maternity clothes it sounds like they might be discontinuing the pant version so if you can get your hands on a pair of them i highly recommend it i have two pairs one in a small and one in a medium and um, the medium doesn't really fit me when i'm not pregnant but when i'm pregnant it like will fit me all the way up until i give birth it's like the best maternity pants but even the smalls fit me all the way up until like maybe i was seven months pregnant they just didn't fit me like the last month or two of my pregnancy so I feel like they're very stretchy very flowy and they just fit really good so if you're looking for good maternity clothes those are great options plus this looks really good layered like wear the onesie and then wear like a cute sweater over the top and it just looks really cute layered okay the next thing I wanted to pick up at the store was some new bras in a size bigger I feel like all of my bras are size small and they're really compressive like when I'm pregnant I don't want to feel anything squeezing me in like I just want to be flowy and free and not compressed so I went into free people looking for some bralettes that were like a medium instead of a small and I ended up finding a sports bra honestly I can't believe that this is a sports bra because there's really not a lot of coverage but um, I don't have a lot which is fine but I feel like this is gonna be a good everyday bra that I can just wear underneath things I got it in a size medium this is called it's called the epic mini bra or the modern mini bra I got three of them and they're both named different things anyways the epic mini and the epic the epic mini call it the epic mini and um i got it in tan i got it in like an off-white and i got it in a very pretty tiffany blue i feel i feel like i'll get a lot of wear out of these and i got three colors because i'm sure those will be my go-to all pregnancy long and even in a size medium, I feel like I can wear them after just fine. They'll just be a little bit looser on me than my other bras. And so I, I like getting things that I can continue wearing after pregnancy, just like the Hot Shot onesie. You can keep wearing that after pregnancy. The next thing I got, this is so cute. This is a ceramic match holder and it is a little cowboy boot. I was like, this is like the perfect little gift or stocking stuff or whatever. We're doing a gift exchange in my family and the gifts have to be under 25. So I thought this was a good option and the next thing I'm gonna show you is also a good option, but if you're looking for gifts under 25, I thought that this was so cute. I wanna keep it, so I'm, if I'm gonna gift it away, I might need to get a second one for myself. 
And then I also thought this was a great gift. This is under 25. I think this was 18. And this is like, this is the Skin Gym Ice Face Roller. And basically you fill this up with water, freeze it, and then, yeah, freeze it. And you can, oh, that's how you fill it up. I was like, how do they fill it up with water productively? And then you just roll it on your face, the ice to de-puff anything in the morning and stuff like that. So another good stocking stuffer or good gift for anybody in your life. There is that from Free People. I ended up getting one more thing today from Freebird. You guys, this is my first purchase from Freebird. And if you know what it is, it's like really nice leather boots. And I've been eyeing their shoes for like a long time, but I really wanted a pair of black cowboy boots for months. And I saw the perfect pair in there and they were doing their Black Friday sales, still running their Black Friday sales. So I ended up getting these uh, around 200, which I think they're normally 300, which is a lot of money. But I was eyeing a pair of boots that were not real leather for $200. And I'm like, wait, these are real leather for the same price? Like thousand percent, I'd rather have these because these will just wear really nice. These will last me years and years and years. Real leather is just unbeatable. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Oh, and I didn't even show you guys like an awesome part. I love the red on the bottom of the boot too. So really cute boots. I will link everything below in case you want to shop any of this stuff. You can. It, it's just kind of some fun stuff. I'm not going to show any of the gifts I got for Christmas because I don't want anybody to see. But I thought I saved a few questions and I thought we could just go over some Q&As really quick. Leela is still completely passed out which is good it's 3 30 and we usually don't let her sleep past like 4 15. she may nap the whole amount of time today which would be awesome so i'm not gonna do them all i'm just gonna go through them and just do a few hi i'm pregnant with my first how are you able to stay active when you are feeling like crap this is a good question i i never got sick sick like throwing up sick but i definitely felt not myself. I felt super tired. I still feel super tired and it's very hard to stay motivated. And I think for me, I'm just giving myself grace. I, ha I do not work out as much as I used to before I was pregnant. I just do the best I can. I, I don't know. It is so hard how to stay active. I think start small, start with something that doesn't feel like a task that's overwhelming, like going on a walk to me sometimes feels so overwhelming and I will just start there because that is like the easiest thing that I can get into that I can wrap my head, my mind around. Sometimes trying to do a spin class in the basement for 45 minutes just seems like way too much and I just don't do anything at all. So if you can get out and go for a walk, take your baby on a walk. If you have a baby, um, just get out and go on a walk by yourself, put in a podcast that you love. I love the What We Said podcast. My friend Cassie and I, we also have a podcast that we've kind of just started and we've been having a good time with it. Call You in Five if you want to listen to that podcast or get an audiobook. I actually love audiobooks. I remember when I was pregnant, I, the first time, and I was going on walks all the time. I was going through audiobooks like water. It, I just remember loving getting outside, going on a walk, and that was how I stayed active for a long time. And if I, I woke up with energy, then I would take a spin class or I would go to a workout class. I'd go to an orange cherry class, but I also gave myself grace. So I would say start with something that's achievable, something that you like to do. If, if there's a workout that you like to do, bar for pregnant moms is really good. Like bar three, if you can do that, is an awesome workout. They have so many modifications and they can guide you through all of the exercises you can do while being pregnant. So um, I highly recommend that if you have that near you. They also have online too. I think you can take bar three online. Congrats. Will you have moved to Washington by the time baby comes? No, we won't. We're actually going to move like three to four weeks after our baby is here. So it's kind of stressful. I like wake up at night stressed about this because I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know what's worse. Moving bef like when you're pregnant and having to find a new OB before you deliver or moving after and having like recovering while you're moving. I don't know what's worse because I feel very comfortable with my OB. So I like want to stay. So I feel like we made the right decision for me, but I, I feel like both are very hard options. But my due date is the very, very beginning of June. So baby could come at the end of May, could come at the very beginning of June. My due date is June 2nd. And 
we plan on having our house rented out July 1st. So we have to be completely moved out by July 1st. The nice thing is Joey, last time he got three months of paternity leave. I don't know if he gets that much this time, but we plan to move during his paternity leave. And that is going to be like his number one job is packing up the house. He's like, I will do everything. You do not have to do anything. Every time I feel stressed out about it, he's like, I will literally do everything. So don't even think about it. But I just know myself, like I will want to be very hands-on in that process. So I know I will still be doing stuff, even though he says not to. <laughs> I can answer this one. When did you all start trying for baby number two? How did you know it was the right time? We actually, it's kind of funny because the same thing happened with Leela. We weren't really trying, but we weren't really not trying. I'm really good at tracking my cycle. And I mean, I can get into that in another video if you guys are like interested in that. I track my cycle and I know when I'm ovulating. <laughs> like I know exactly when. I'm very regular though, so that helps out a ton. We weren't necessarily trying. We were just careless one time, but we knew we were going to start trying soon. We wanted our kids to be a, a roughly-ish two years apart, which Leela was, her due date was May 25th. And so it's our baby, like both of our kids are going to be like two years and like a couple weeks apart. So almost exactly two years apart. I feel like we timed it really well kind of on accident, although Leela wasn't like, neither of our babies were accidents. <sighs> How did you know it was the right time? I think I think Joey and I both just kind of felt like it was the right time to start trying soon. Like we were kind of just casually talking about it. Um, we want our kids to be close in age. So I think for us, it just kind of felt like a good time. Plus we kind of felt like we started to have a grasp on life, like the routine that Lila was setting and stuff like that. What inspires you to keep going in life and also posting on social media? Honestly, you guys, you guys leave so many sweet like comments, you guys messaging me, chatting with me, saying that I gave you motivation to work out today. Like that kind of stuff keeps me going because literally every day is like a battle of I'm so over social media. I want to quit. I'm done. It's you guys. Like I feel like the community on here is really fun and um, uplifting and positive and just fun to chat with. So thank you guys for being that. It means a lot. When are you due? June 2nd. Can you film your birth on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because I, I feel like I don't even want anybody in the hospital other than Joey. I didn't feel like that with Leela, but also when you're giving birth, I remember when I was in labor, I was like, I could care less who's in here. I like, I just want this baby out. So I don't know. My feelings could change as we get closer. I feel like at this point, probably not. Also, Joey doesn't really like to be on camera. He doesn't really, he, like, he's super supportive for me, but he just doesn't like to do social media. And so I kind of respect him in that, but he's also super supportive in me. And I just feel like in the hospital, it'd be hard, like, not to film him. And I don't think he really wants to be filmed. So, I mean, it just kind of depends. We'll, like, feel it out as we get closer. Okay, just, a, I'm just going to answer a couple more because... Leela's starting to wake up. <laughs> actually, I think she's awake. We'll go like one or two more. Do you know what you're having? Will you share? Congratulations. I actually haven't shared what we're having, but we do know. And I guess I'll let you guys be the first to know. We're having a girl, another girl. How did you find out you were pregnant? I knew I was pregnant. Literally the day I got pregnant, I was like, I'm pregnant. I know it. It's kind of funny because I remember when I was supposed to have my first period, I took a pregnancy test, came back negative. A couple days later, took a pregnancy test, came back negative. That happened three times. Finally, like, I think over a week, I was a week late or something like that. I took another pregnancy test and the line was so, so faint. And I was like, I knew it. But I, like, started to feel symptoms. Like, I started, I feel like I'm very in tune with, in tune with my body and I started to feel symptoms. And I just knew. I, like, I remember telling my friends, I'm like, I know I'm pregnant. I, like, absolutely know that I'm pregnant, but everything's coming back negative. So, you can have a false negative. You really can't have a false positive, I feel like, but, or I, I think that's what I've heard. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you made it this far, I love you so much. And thank you guys for following along on all of this Vlogmas stuff. It's been so much fun and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.